Well, Jessica, the governor did announce some new funding measures, but he also announced a new approach to reaching out to some Asian owned businesses that were unfairly targeted in the early days of the uh, of this pandemic. Let's first talk about the funding, though. Business owners with fewer than 10 employees now qualify for money from a $5 million state grant. The state's encouraging businesses to apply for federal grants, the so-called forgivable loans. Those work well for self-employed and contractors who may have trouble getting typical unemployment benefits. And the state is reaching out to minority-owned businesses, providing more translation services to businesses like those owned by Asian and Pacific Americans. And we know that COVID-related losses hit APA businesses earlier, even prior to the statewide closures due to unfair racial stigmas and the prejudicial perceptions that Asian businesses might be unclean or unsanitary. If our fatality rate starts to go down, and we hope it does, that is not a certainty. But if it does, there's going to be a human inclinations to let up, to take it easy a little bit, thinking that we're on top of this. That could be a fatal mistake. As you can hear, the governor is saying it's just too early to talk about uh, lifting any of these restrictions. He did say, though, that perhaps if we continue to see the trends go the way they're going, that maybe industries like construction might be able to slowly resume, but still with other restrictions. If you would like to see what the state is offering for folks who need help, you can text the word HELP to 206-448-4545. Live in Olympia, Drew Mickelson. King 5 News.